A devastating time for Morocco as the country grapples with one of the deadliest disasters in its history, with at least 2,000 people dead and over 300,000 people impacted. The quake was a magnitude 6.8 and it hit just 50 miles southeast of one of the biggest cities in the kingdom, Marrakesh. Fox 13 News reporter Michael Gooby spoke to one Utah who watched all of this unfold from the center of this bustling city. Over 2,000 people have lost their lives in a 6.8 magnitude earthquake that hit Morocco Friday night. I spoke to Dave Bernheisel, who was visiting Morocco when the tremors hit. He took this picture of the destruction and told me about the tragic situation with so many people left with nothing but ruins. For Dave Bernheisel, seeing every inch of the world is his passion. He is from Farmington and Morocco is the 44th country he visited. Marrakesh was something I've always wanted to go see. But this travel adventure was different. At about, you know, 1230 in the morning, you know, I was sound asleep and this, this, like for 15 seconds, the, 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 everything shook and, you know, at first you're dead asleep and it was like, Oh, you know, is this a dream? And then and then you sort of are kind of disoriented a little bit and then you realize what's going on. And by that time, it stopped. That was an earthquake with an epicenter about 50 miles away from Dave that changed everything for Morocco. He only saw this crack in his hotel, but the town was hurt. A lot of damage, you know, kind of bricks falling in and cracked facades. And the city square is full of several hundred of people just sleeping on the ground. Presumably their place was, was, has collapsed or something like that. So, yeah, it's very sad. Yeah. Dave told me that when he was walking around, he saw many structures in the marketplace had collapsed. And like this one person was opening up and he sold some kind of, uh, I don't know, glass, you know, kind of things. And it was like just a massive broken stuff in, in the middle of this garage size thing. And and it just broke my heart. You can see the look on his face of like, uh, you know, it was just it was like his whole inventory, maybe his whole life is there, you know. He'd visited the epicenter just the day before with a local guide and driver who were showing him around. He got to spend time with them in their homes there. I got this, you know, text from my, my driver, you know, and when he said, like, everything is destroyed or, you know, it's just really weird. Some people have died, he said. Dave added that disasters like these put so much in perspective. Typically, you we, we read about these disasters and at far off places and it's a headline it, it you know we go on and like you know you start worrying about something else the next minute and being in it it, it really yeah breaks your heart Utah and Morocco have deep ties, so the Utah National Guard was planning to head to Morocco for an earthquake training exercise, coincidentally planned a few days after the earthquake. So with teams there on the ground, they will be ready to pivot to help response efforts if needed. In studio, I am Maithili Gubbi, Fox 13 News, Utah.